we have a great respect for each other and we love working with each other. I think that shows and that's why Bo and Hope are so popular. Hey, can I take a picture of you for Actually, Bo and Hope go to Paris, and we call home, and Jan's still there, and I'm like, would you throw her out of the house? Yeah. I don't know how much longer that girl's going to be on the show. I mean, she's a sweet girl and everything, but Jan is kind of a... Uh, are, did, do you know, or, yeah, do you know as an audience that, or that, What's his name? Sean, my son. I'll look on this side. Does Belle know the truth yet? Yeah? No? So Belle doesn't know, okay, that Sean was just being a hero. No wonder. That answers a lot of questions. Oh, look. Sean's going to tell everybody, including his family, about the truth about Jane? I don't know. Probably. We haven't taped it yet, but uh, there's some exciting stuff with uh, JT coming up uh, this week. You all got to watch the show. Oh, Wednesday, you know. Never mind. Like I said, you guys know more than I do, so. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with uh, when Sean's going to tell everybody the truth about that baby story. Hello, you wrote a Harley Davidson. What was that? I don't ride one anymore. Um, actually, it, uh, when was that? It was about 12 years ago. I was riding my motorcycle to the studio and uh, because we were using it on the show that day. And I got rear-ended. It was kind of wild sitting there on the sidewalk. On my, or actually, I was there on the sidewalk about like this. See my motorcycle underneath this pickup truck. I didn't see my body any place, so I knew I was alive. And um, after that experience, I rode a little bit, but not much. I sold my bike. I get my thrills by riding a mountain bike now. Or if I fall, I skin my knee. That's about it. Well, a show like that for an actor, I mean, is, is a lot of fun to do. I mean, that's emotions are what what we love, um, and it was a very bonding show for uh, the cast too. We had all the you know the Brady family there and the Hurt family there, and uh, it was rather an astounding day for the cast and crew because it was it went beautiful. Uh, you know, when you have a set where there's 15 people on it, including a child. You know, the baby. Things went amazingly well. It was really beautiful. So, I, 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 and it shows in the air. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. 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 Uh, don't you get so mad at Sean for the way he's treating Belle? <laughs> <laughs> Typical teenager. Yeah, he's a teenager, and I'm I'm a pretty understanding father. And sometimes I don't I don't know why Bo would be so understanding, but that's. Pennsylvania. Do you ever get over in the East Coast that far? The problem is there are not too many days for our lives fans up there. Do you want a bet? <laughs> we'll have to come and find out. find out. Okay, we'll try to do that. Is there a sale in Pennsylvania? There is a sale in Pennsylvania? Whoa, we're going to have to... You know what, who's... Let's get the organizers together. Just do <laughs> Salem. No, never mind. Shit, I'm gonna. Oh, turn around. Sorry. Right. There's lots of grass to stand on. Oh. Yeah. First of all.
all, we don't know who the Billy is that's coming back. We've had two Billies, we're auditioning other Billies. Uh, it's been rumored that Lisa's coming back. And I don't know what the storyline is going to be. Yeah, I like Lisa one too. So we had a good time together. What kind of giggle is that? Did it show? Someone said you wanted to see the book. Have you seen this book? <laughs> Patrick Cadarvo. That's not her body? She's not naked on the cover of this? Oh, that's scary. <laughs> Anybody have any questions out here? I mean, you don't have to try to walk up here. Yeah, right back there. Do I hang out with any of the cast and crew? When we're on the set, quite a few of our days are like 8, 10, 11, 12 hours, 4 or 5 days a week. So, not a whole lot. I mean, we do things like this together, and we do uh, charity events together. Some of the younger people hang out a little bit more, but uh, most of us who have families and wives and a life go try to spend some time with other people. Yes. Yes, ma'am. What was my favorite cartoon when I was little? Let me see if I can remember that far back. What was it? I think I watched, you know what? My parents didn't let us watch cartoons. Spider-Man was uh, my favorite comic, so I'm pretty excited about Spider-Man coming out. Uh, we had another question here. Yes, ma'am. Where am I from in Michigan? I grew up in Lansing. Uh, my parents live in Muskegon right now. Uh, when they retired, they, they moved to Muskegon. You're, that's where you're from? So do you know my mom? <laughs> Did you grow up there? Oh. How long have you lived there? Eight years? Thirty-eight years? Wow. They live right um, just out past the paper mill on the beach right there. My dad just bought a house and redid it. Bought another lot. He's building another house. Probably start breaking ground next week. Yes. Okay, Peter, we have another uh, question over here. Okay. Like, what's been your favorite Bell and Hope story over the years? Favorite Bowen Hope story. Uh, actually, we're going to be hopefully reminiscing some of that stuff um, with some of the characters that are coming back to the show. Characters that have left like 15 years ago and stuff are coming back. Um, I like the whole Oak Alley stuff, which you know, a lot of the older fans like that. Um, actually, when I first came back to the show, this this time uh, seven years ago. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. What did I do between the times I was working on Days? When I first left Days, I did a couple years of Knots Landing. Johnny O'Rourke. Johnny O'Rourke, yeah. I was a troublemaker over there on Knots Landing. Then I came back to the show, and then the last time I left, I did a few plays, I did a couple TV pilots, I did a movie in Russia. Especially the people. Yeah. That's one thing that I that I as a performer love is coming out and feeling the energy of people who, who love the show. And the energy here is just loving and nice and warm. So uh, and, and surprising as it may be, some places it's not so much like that. So thank you very much. How old are you? 
old are you? Tim. When you're a little older, you'll learn not to ask any questions. <laughs> Actors, they have a hard time with that. We, uh, in the business I'm in, there's great difficulties when uh, you tell how old you are. I was born in 1955. Do the math. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> that you have to watch in May. That's the whole story. You can't give that away, or else uh, you won't watch in May. You guys have a question back here? two, three weeks before you see it, and we get the scripts about two weeks before we tape it, so about a month, five weeks. What's your definition of a family? I got a pit bull and a boxer. No, I don't have children, and uh, yes, I am happily married. We just had our fourth anniversary. Thank you. Actually, let me do a little promotion here while I'm talking about my wife. She, those of you who don't know, she's a musician. If you check out my website, peterreckle.com, you will see, you can hook up to her website, Kelly Moneymaker, and uh, Bo and Hope are going to have a new theme song. And the first time it airs is May 22nd. The first time Bo and Hope really get it on. <laughs> in a while, and uh, Kelly wrote and sang the new Bowen Hope theme song. Ken Corday, the owner of the show, heard Kelly sing several months ago and asked her if she would write the new song. So it's going to uh, appear May 22nd. How long does it take to memorize all the stories? Uh, it depends on the show. Some, some shows are more difficult than others. But, uh, it could take somewhere between an hour and four or five hours to memorize a show. And we do a show a day, so there, once again, do your math. Yes? Is who coming back? Is Patch coming back? That would be fun, wouldn't it? He's not working over at GH right now? I don't think so. Um, at this moment, I don't think he's coming back. But uh, there's talk about all sorts of people coming back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> What's your birthday? I'm May 7th. We must be so lit. <laughs> uh oh. Yes. We have about 10 more minutes for questions with uh, Peter. The auction will begin at 2.30. If you don't have your number yet, you need to pick it up at the green tent. What will we be auctioning off? <laughs> Me? That's, Whoa. That's, that's partly correct, Peter. Get what your bill phones. <laughs> set tour with visit. Oh, they're coming to, somebody's coming to, uh, oh, to yeah. Burbank. Wow, that's cool. Is that the hot item? After me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Have I ever had the desire to be on the other side of the camera? I'm accused of that by my, uh, by the directors and producers of the show because I tend to have ideas about how the directors and producers and writers should do their, their job. But at the moment, I, I, I love doing what I do, and so uh, people love me doing it. Maybe when I get old and decrepit, I'll go 
right here. On the other side of the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Do I work out? No, I have this body naturally. I eat donuts. <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of actually part of what makes me healthy mentally, emotionally, as well as physically. I, I think uh, getting your heart rate up every now and then is a very good thing. You asked me to take my clothes off? Okay, I know Kyle does that at the drop of a hat. Man, I had an auction in uh, uh, for, uh, uh, auction benefiting uh, American Red Cross, and Kyle was nice enough to come out to that. And he took off his shirt. And we were doing the auction, and we're auctioning off something else, and he still had his shirt off. So we auctioned. He had his shirt off for like 45 minutes. <laughs> Distracting all the women. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take my shirt. Uh, hello, my name is Amanda Joyce. You just grab that mic and make yourself yeah. at home. Okay. Uh, my birthday is May 4th. Yes, ma'am. Around yours. Uh huh. Would you please wish me a happy birthday? Uh -huh. and happy think birthday. Did you think? <laughs> okay. Twist my arm. Hey, happy birthday. Uh, no, I won't. Thank you. Okay. Can I take a picture? Sure. Who else? Yes, ma'am. Is JT leaving the show? Uh, you'll, you'll see that on Wednesday. Yes, sir. No, when you want. The, the fight scenes on the show have improved. That's that's actually a, uh, a long progress. When I first came on the show, they didn't have uh, stunt coordinators. And after my lip was blown open and my finger was broken and my rib was busted, they decided to get somebody there to help because they didn't want their lead actors to be busted up so much. So, yes, recently we've had... Um, uh, Michael Adams, who's a stunt coordinator, he does movies, etc., come in and help us out. Actors tend to get a little uh, testosterone built up and they hurt each other. <laughs> yes. When I first started on the show was in 1983. <laughs> She's doing the math again. Yeah. Does my wife get jealous of my character, Bo? No, she doesn't get jealous of Bo. <laughs> she gets jealous of... Uh, actually, in the beginning it was difficult, you know, which is understandable. All you people want to see Bo and Hope together, and uh, she wanted to see herself and me together. But now she just has a good time. She, you know, once she got to know who Christian is and what our relationship is, um, she's very understanding. What I do for a living. And that's not an easy thing, obviously. You'll have to talk to somebody here who uh, knows how to use the websites. I'm computer illiterate. What's that say? Computer illiterate. Computer illiterate. Smack yourself in the head. Yeah. <laughs>
do I have any theater uh, or concerts? Um, once we had the change in the show with our uh, head writer and producers, which happened back in November, um, they promised me that I'd be a little busier on the show. The, the main reason I started singing, doing, putting my CD out, uh, was I had a whole lot of time because Bo Brady wasn't too busy on the show. And so I was going out and doing concerts, etc. Now, um, I don't have that much time. They're, they're working me pretty hard on, this, on the show, so I don't have anything planned. It, we're trying to... Or that's in concrete yet. I don't know if any of you have... Settle down, I'll be right finished in a second. Uh, I don't know if any of you have been to Fanfare in Nashville, but we're going to be going there again this year, so it's not too far off. So maybe we can see you down there. I, I think I'll be singing down there. And if you want to get a hold of my CD, I'll be selling them someplace around here. Someplace. I don't know where that is. Does anybody know where my CD is being sold? Over there someplace? So you can pick that up and I'll, I'll try to sign that for you. Um, or, or you can get it on my website, peterreckle.com. Surprise, one more. One more question. Yes, sir. to have caption on the show. If they didn't have caption, we wouldn't be here because we wouldn't know what it was about, so we really appreciate that. Days of Our Lives was one of the first shows to have captions. Um, when It was quite a surprise to me when I uh, was walking around the streets, etc., and had people, deaf people come up to me and thank me and stuff, and, and that was when I found out that Days of Our Lives, back then, what it, you know, 19 years ago, Days of Our Lives was we got to thank uh, NBC and the producers for doing that. So thank you, too. All right. Thanks, Peter Recco. Welcome again to Salem, Illinois. Bye-bye. Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm going to hang out here and do a little bit of this auction stuff. <laughs>